All right, query two, write a SQL statement that will find all employees who have an average performance rating. Sounds good. Back to access. Whoops. Let's go ahead and create query, close SQL view. Let's write this out so we can remember. All right, SQL statement. First word we always use, select. What do we want? It says all employees. Now it doesn't tell us exactly which fields to return. So in this case, we're just gonna use our best judgment. Like the last time, let's use first name, last name, and uh, we'll call it good. Actually, no, I'm gonna add one more thing. I'm gonna add performance rating here uh, so that um, we can verify once we get the data that we've only got those who are average in performance rating. So where does performance rating come from? It comes from the employee table and this field called performance. So just come back here and I say performance from where? Well, all of these fields come from the same table, employee, which makes it really easy. So one table, I'm just going to put, oops, come on. Yes, save it. From the table called employee, where? All right, so we're learning now for the first time this keyword where. So select, as you know, gets us the fields from, tells us where to get them from. Where is a keyword that we use to let us identify criteria or which employees do we want? So they have to meet a condition whenever we use where. So following where should be a condition or a series of conditions um, if there's more than one. So the way we implement this is we say, all right, where the field called performance equals, we put in the keyword average. Now, if your resolution isn't great and you can't see what it is I've got around average here, these are double quotes. So whenever we use text in code, and this will apply in programming languages of all kinds. Uh, whenever we use literal text, meaning I want this exact word just like this, we wrap double quotes around it. We don't do that when we're referring to numbers. Why not? Well, uh, because in a database, uh, as you hopefully paid attention in a previous video, uh, we can save a lot of space if we tell the database what type of data will go into a field. Now, an employee, the performance field is text, which is the largest type of data, but position ID and location ID is only ever going to have numbers, and not just any numbers, integers, meaning no decimals. So there's only 10 possible numbers that something can be, which means we need smaller size bytes to represent all 10 numbers, and we can save space if we tell it that this field is going to be numeric. So over in our query, performance has been designated as a certain type of field. If we go to our design view, it says performance right here is short text. Because it's text, we must use quotes around whatever uh, text we're looking for in that field performance. Even if we typed in the text 10, that still saved as text and not as a number. We need double quotes around it. Anyway, let's stick average in there. And again, it doesn't tell us what order to sort it in, so we're not going to worry about it. White space is ignored, so I don't even need to delete that and move it up. Let's just hit run. All right, employee is already open exclusively by another user or is already open through the user interface and cannot be manipulated. What it means is you got to close this out before I run it. That's all. There we go. Here we go. We have this many, eight employees who had an average performance rating. Looks like it worked. What I might do is just double check and see, is there anybody who's average that I didn't get as a double check to make sure that I've done things properly. Anyway, I know it's right, so what I'm gonna do is come back here and say, now that I've checked to make sure that it works, I'm going to remove performance from the list of fields that I want because, why? Well, because it didn't ask for it here in the question. It simply said, return all employees with an average performance rating. So if I don't need it, um, I also won't include it because if I know they're all average, what's the point of including it? It's the same for all of them. It doesn't help me at all. So I'm gonna call that good hit save as query two and we're good.